Let's get loud for Bob Keen and Stephanie Robertson! Okay, who wants to go first, guys? Uh, I will. Stephanie starts it off. You guys know the drill. Back to the front. Three, two, one. Bob Keen is like family to me. Yeah. He's like the uncle my cousins would warn me about. <laughs> Bob, you look like you would reach into my pants. Not for pussy, but for spare change. <laughs> yeah. Give it up for Hori Gilmore. Uh, uh, Love of the outfit, Steph. I really am. Does that come with five cats, a rope, and a stool? <laughs> you, you have a gay twin brother, and you still dress like that. that is... Your outfit looks like it comes with divorce papers. Okay, that's... Yeah, well, you look like you wear Fisher-Price thongs. <laughs> You look like you're not allowed at a Fisher Price, all right? Like... <laughs> yeah. Yeah, believe it or not, Bob Keen is married. He is married. Uh, he's broken, he's married. Can you believe it? Uh, yeah. The hardest part about his wedding was convincing the driver to write just married on the back of the Uber. <laughs> It was a Jewish wedding. She did the driving. Uh, you look like the girl from Taken if they named the movie Left There. This guy has a hard time staying afloat in comedy. I think that's why they call him Bob. <laughs> that was stupid. Good one, Anne Hackaway. Uh, <laughs> Uh, Stephanie's boobs couldn't make it tonight, but they said their best. <laughs> Stephanie's tits are a lot like God. Uh, they don't exist, but we all feel better pretending they do. Uh, yeah, well, you have man tits, Bob, so I don't know what to tell you. I don't know what to tell you. I, uh, <laughs> Bob. Bob. Bob actually used to have a much nicer body. He used to have like a swimmer's body. Uh, yeah, but now he stays out of the water once he found out the Little Mermaid's black. <laughs> yeah. Bob Keen. More like Bob's not too keen about these black folk moving into the neighborhood. All right. Uh. In the first scene of the movie, she no call, no show to gig. She's been black the whole time. Uh, <laughs> Stephanie pokes holes in condoms so she can still swallow. <laughs> The only time she ever pulls a dick out of her mouth is so she can call the cops on an immigrant. <laughs> Bob, you look like you can tell me about all of the wars you would have been too scared to fight in. <laughs> <laughs> Will rise again. Yeah, if there's a blue chew around. Okay. <laughs> ah, fuck you, Snow White trash. <laughs> She's a... You've had more open mic comics inside you than a bar on a Tuesday. <laughs> Everyone gets four minutes and it's never good. <laughs> but hey, she has a boyfriend, but don't worry, fellas, she's taking reserve spots for next week. <laughs> Too inside, they don't know all that lingo, Bobby. Um, yeah, Bob really, he hates women in comedy. <laughs> he really does, mainly because they're funnier than him. And yeah. And he's, and he's not allowed to hit him. <laughs> All right. <laughs> we'll see about that. Uh, uh, old Mary Tyler whore over here. What? <laughs> Stephanie, Stephanie uh, books shows at a place called The Vixen. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because uh, cause I guess... <laughs> Sorry, I fucking hate myself. Do it. Do it, Bob. We all hate you, too. No, it's, so called it's, fine. Vixen, it's called the Vixen because cum gargling demon skank was a little big for the sign. <laughs> oh, Bob, you are never getting booked again there. That's for sure. That is for sure. Ironically, that venue would have loved that joke. <laughs> Bob, Bob, if you're here, who's bagging groceries poorly at the Jewel Osco? All right. Yeah. All right. That was, that was the last one. Yeah. Okay. Uh, Stephanie, uh, you've had more shitty comics on you than Kill Tony. Uh, she was on Kill Tony. It was so bad they renamed the show Kill Yourself. Oh, this guy gets it. 
Yeah, I'll let, no, I'm a, yeah, I'm gonna let him sit in that bomb. Go ahead, yeah. <laughs> All right, that's a battle, here we go! All right, hell of a battle, right? That was something else, Jesus Christ! Oh my God, let's give it up for uh, Bridgeview versus Evanston over here. It was fucking weird. All right, let me go down to Alan Ford Jr. Alan, what'd you think? Uh, just kind of fizzled out at the end, but a good start. Uh, I like jokes that are real, and I really believe Bob didn't go see The Little Mermaid because she was black. <laughs> so I'm gonna go ahead with Steph video on this one. One for Steph, one for Steph. Mr. Derek. Oh, wow, this, uh, yeah, this was a great one. I, uh, I really enjoyed this, this battle a lot. <laughs> Stephanie, you look like you just got kicked out of an indie band, and... Uh, <laughs> Bob, you look like you're five years away from selling out Woodfield Mall at Santa Claus, so I, uh... That's a lot coming from a guy who sounds like Donald Trump on Xanax. It's, it's... <laughs> <laughs> no problem. I like it. I, uh, I was gonna vote for you. I really was. And, uh... You gotta be smarter about these things, Bob. I was gonna vote for uh, you too, Mr. No, Trump. No, I, I... I'm gonna give it... I am gonna give it to Bob, though. I like Bob oh, yeah. on this one. I'm giving it to Bob. One for one, Katie Kincaid. Man, this was so fun. Guys, give it up for them. That was a great battle. That was a great battle. Uh, man, this was tough because I feel like it was like, I kept going back and forth the entire time. And But I love like the Fisher-Price thing, but the Fisher-Price comeback from Steph was so good. Uh, but then, Bo uh, but then uh, Bob <laughs> talked about her boobs were left behind. So fucking funny. Um, God, this was so so hard, but I think like at the end, like Bob, the one thing I didn't like is that you did too much inside baseball with the, co co the comedian stuff. So they didn't quite- Thought quite Rosemont crack. was a hip crowd. <laughs> <laughs> nope, anyway. <laughs> anyway, I, I am gonna go with Steph, which actually I think is good because Bob does look like his kink is women beating him, so. <laughs> we have two- I am married. <laughs> All right, two for Steph, one for Bob, Chris Grieco. Yes, I do think they should switch outfits, but, um... You just want to watch the in-between. I liked it. I mean, you guys were, I mean, you guys were joke for joke. You were even, like, comeback for comeback at one point. You guys were doing great, but, uh, Bob, you had, like, two bombs. And so, for that reason, Stephanie gets the vote, but that was an awesome battle. Give it up for Stephanie Robinson! Give it up for Bob Keane! <laughs> Physical 